All right, everybody. Here's a quick and easy way to learn how to draw the brachial plexus. If you can draw it, you can pretty much memorize it. It's really not too much to it. I'm going to go ahead and draw it real quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase it. We'll start over and we'll go through it step by step, how to draw it and then also how to label it. So here we go. here. So that's how you draw the brachial plexus. Now let's uh, go through one more time and then we're going to label it. All right, so now I'm going to explain to you how I drew that and the steps involved and then we'll label it after that. All right, here we go. First thing we'll do, just to make it easy, is we're going to draw a little gator face and then a line. Another line with no gator face and then a little gator face again, like an alligator face, and then another line. That's step one. So go ahead and draw that. And then when you're done with that, step two, we're gonna draw a really big gator face right there, just like that. Nothing to it. Let's go ahead and connect that, make it look a little bit cleaner. Okay, then from there, we're gonna draw here, go on there, connecting this middle one with the top one, or making an X, if you will, whatever you wanna call it. And last but not least, we're gonna come down here draw this one and also that one. So we have one, two, three, four, five at the end right there, okay? Now that's the basic uh, outline of it. Let's draw the nerves that come off of the brachial plexus. So first and foremost, we have our long thoracic, right? Long thoracic. I stop after uh, C7 here just because if I go past it, you know, it, like it does in the body, it's fine. But when I stop here, I know that it gets little branches from C5, C6, and C7. So let's go ahead and label those. C5, C6, and C7, all right? We also have C8 right here, and of course, T1. Those are the roots of our brachial plexus. Now here we have a little nerve right here, two here, one here, three down here, and three right here. Let's go ahead and label these as well. From right to left, well, left to right, I guess, but for your right to left, we have dorsal scapular, suprascapular, subclavian, all right? Over here, we have lateral pectoral, and down here, we have medial pectoral. So those are two pectorals right there. Then we have our medial brachial cutaneous for the arm, and then medial antibrachial cutaneous for the forearm. Last but not least, we have upper and lower subscapular, all right, and then thora, codorsal, in the middle going to our lats. Out here, we have musculocutaneous, axillary, radial, median, and ulnar. That's all there is to it, guys. You know the M that a lot of you will be looking for in your cadavers? This is the M right here, the MMU. That's the M right there. Mickey Mouse University, or musculocutaneous, median, ulnar. And then behind that, on the posterior, we have axillary and radial. So we have our roots, our trunks, our divisions, our cords, and our branches. Randy Travis drinks cold beer. That's a good way to remember it. Marmu, Mickey Mouse University for the ones that are anterior. Okay, C5 through T1, and then here's the nerves. So that's how you draw the brachial plexus. If you guys practice that, like, five times, all the way out, saying it as you go, you're gonna have this thing down in no time. All right. Thanks.